Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you all my current fall time shower routine and my after shower body care routine, including oral hygiene, odor prevention, yeah. all of my favorite products, tips and tricks to stay fresh and clean. Stay tuned. off by lighting a candle just to set the tone the current one that i'm burning is from bath and body works cranberry woods it's not sweet it's not warm it's kind of giving like a musk type of woodsy vibe So I like to get the water going first. I like to just pop one of these shower fizzies on the floor. So the one that I'm using today is from Buff City Soap. It's the Narcissist Shower Fizzy. Place the fizzy on the shower floor under the direct stream of the water. It's gonna kind of put that aroma in the air while you shower for a spot like that. Sometimes I wanna wash my face real quick and it's giving do the skincare routine once you get out. I came across this facial wash after I had like a heat rash, a few little bumps on my face when I got back from Orlando. This transformed my skin in a few days and it's just been my in-shower facial wash ever since then. It's gentle but it's effective and if you ever have a heat rash, the aloe vera wash, it's gonna get you all the way together. I love to start off with my Dow soap. This is a good base clean. It's gonna get the germs off of you. The gold bar is gonna get you right. Dow is antibacterial. You can get these from Dollar Tree. That's where I got mine. They have lots of different ones. The gold bar is my favorite. I just basically use this on a washcloth. Make sure your skin is nice and wet. Soap it up really well. And you want to wash head to toe with this. Don't let YouTube confuse you. <laughs> this video is nicely edited for your view and pleasure, but you want to wash your body head to toe with this bar of soap. Sometimes in the comments, it's kind of giving like, people don't know how to shower. But when I check my analytics, I know that the girls are of all ages. So I want to make sure that I'm thoroughly explain it for someone that may just be in middle school all the way up to the ladies who are older than myself so yeah let's be nice in the comments but you want to take this bar of soap and you want to make sure it's real soapy girl get everywhere underneath the arms rub for a good while like don't be trying to give yourself a massage you got to get in with the towel and make sure you're scrubbing very well get the sweat off the neck you want to get behind the ears you want to wash everywhere including your butt Okay. If it's an antibacterial soap, it's going to get rid of bacteria. Bacteria is what causes odor. So starting off with a Dow soap, not the smell good stuff. We're going to get to that in a minute, but you got to get the stink off before you start with the smell goods because ain't nothing smelling good on top of something that don't smell good okay all right go ahead and rinse off make sure you clean it behind the ears as well so after doing my bar soap base clean it's time to exfoliate today's product of choice is the dove exfoliating body polish this one is the crushed cherries and chia milk one oh baby when i say this smells so good so I take a good amount of that. You don't want to rinse it off the moment you put it on. Turn the water off and start massaging this all over the skin. If you need to cut the water back on for a quick second for, you know, more of a little bit of a lather, do that. But I massage this all over. You can do exfoliating gloves with it if you like. I like the abrasion of the polish just on its own. I massage that around the body for about three to four minutes. In that thigh area lately, I've been kind of massaging in an upwards motion just to make my thighs defy gravity a little bit. I don't know if that helps with like skin tightening, cellulite, anything like that. I don't know, girl. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> so normally after exfoliating, I would go ahead and shave. I just shaved my legs and underarms like two or three days ago. So we don't need to do that in this video. I love to exfoliate. It's great for removing dead skin, which also just kind of enhances that natural glow. And exfoliating is also great for dark spots. So after I'm done exfoliating, now I can go in with my smell good. So the body wash for today is the Dove Cherry and Chia Milk one. This matches that body polish that I just used. I love to layer up my scents. It makes them last longer. So definitely reach for things that are in the same scent family if they're not the exact same scent, if you can. Highly recommend that regardless of what season it is. I'm using that in combination with the Earth Therapeutics Silicon Body Brush. Exact names are on the screen. And I just love the feel of this. It just feels good. Massage in motion along the skin. And I rub this Dove Body Wash lathers up very well. It leaves the skin feeling very soft, very silky. Look at that glow. Ain't no filter on this camera, baby. Other soaps that I've been loving is this fall one by Buff City Soap. 
So one of the products that I love for my corrective shower routine, which I'll have to make a totally separate video about that, is this Kojic Acid Soap. I love to use this soap in any areas where I want more of an even skin tone. And so that's the underarms, the knees, the elbows, and the bikini area. I don't use this soap all the time. When I'm using it consistently, I love the results that I get. And also keep in mind, I'm not a professional. Definitely do your own research on all of the products that I'm sharing in this video to make sure that they're okay for use on your skin. So we know that the vaginal area is self-cleaning, but that's only internally, girl. So for the outside, external use only, I'm using this down there wash. This is another aloe base cleanser. It is pH balanced. I use this for the vaginal area. You can put it on a washcloth. I wash my vaginal area with this uh, feminine wash very well and then be sure to rinse. Pretty feet gang, soft heels gang, pedicures all year long gang. So this is the Earth Therapeutics Foot Foul. The green side is a bit more coarse than the pink side. So I just pump on whichever current body wash I'm using and I massage this all over the feet to remove that dead skin to make sure that your heels are soft. Make sure that you take care of your feet and they'll take care of you. Go ahead and rinse everything off very well. And now I'm going to show you all my post shower body care routine. For that healthy glow and to not look dry in the winter months, this is the technique that I like to use. When you step out of the shower, don't pat dry it. You gotta grab the body oil. Um, this is the cocoa butter one by Palmer's and you want to apply this all over the skin. It smells amazing, it feels amazing, it leaves the skin feeling nice, soft, supple, and smooth. Then you pat dry. Mm -hmm, yeah, depending on what you're wearing, use that technique at your own discretion. And then for odor protection, I'm loving the Dove even toned deodorant i just kind of apply that underneath both of the underarms for my all over deodorant anywhere where you want a bit of extra protection i love to use this one by hello i like to apply this to the butt area in the summertime i was applying it underneath the breast and down the middle of the back a lot so anywhere where you feel like you need extra little oomph of odor protection get you an all over butt deodorant thank me later mckenna walker put me onto this y'all the pfb vanish oh baby so this is my after waxing or after shaving product. You just kind of roll it onto that area. It's great for ingrowns, even skin tone. I've only had it for about two weeks, but so far I like it. Another product that I love to use to correct any dark spots is this dark spot oil. This is the Bermuda one. I got it from Ulta a couple of months ago. It's basically a product empty because I'm almost out of it. So I can definitely say that I love it. And it also smells really good too. A couple of days ago, I picked up the Skin Firming Lotion. This one is by Nivea. I either do lotion first and then oil on top or oil and then lotion after. It just depends on where I'm going, what I'm doing. Regardless of the techniques that I use, I don't really have any transfer onto my clothes for the day. I didn't apply this product today, but after shaving my legs, I love to use the Don't Grow There. This is a hair growth inhibitor. It just kind of slows down the process because, yeah, who want to be shaving their legs all the time? For the feet, I like to apply this foot care treatment. This one is a cream, so it's a bit more thick than a lotion for more of an all-day moisture. Following up with the Jay's Paws Diamond Drip Cuticle Oil, baby. We're going to apply that to the cuticles on the hands and the feet and massage that in very well. No dry cuticles. It's just something about the nails. They look so much more put together when the cuticles are nicely oiled up. And of course, I got to put my house shoes on because once my feet on point, they don't need to be touching the ground at all. Mm -mm. All right, we're doing things out of order because, yeah, sometimes I bounce around when I start filming. I know the camera didn't just move out of nowhere. A little hair removal in that chin area as well because yeah we can't get caught slipping so I double check so I got this little ear cleaning kit from Timu why have I still not done the Timu haul who am I this is one of my favorite ones basically kind of swirl that around gently inside of the ear just to get that wax build up and I also just kind of use the witch hazel as I'm wiping off any of that ear wax before I go back into the ear with that same tool again I got scalp psoriasis and it's migrating to my ears. So this honestly just feels really good. Like really, really, really good. And then I also have this ointment, ew. So the buildup, y'all probably don't wanna see that. I ain't gonna put it close. The buildup gets really bad. If you have psoriasis, basically if I get scalp injections. It's not a cure for it, um, but the injections that I get helps my scalp tremendously. But the only thing lately now probably about three years later, three or four, don't quote me on it, whenever my first appointment was, it's now migrating to my ears, and so my ear care routine just has to be a little bit more top tier. But I also have this ointment that I'm supposed to use only when my ears itch, I apply this. If it's not bothering me, I don't bother this. But I'm not gonna say the name, but I do have this prescribed ointment for my dermatologist that I apply. 
I just put a little bit on the Q-tip and then I let the Q-tip apply it inside of my ear for me. You know, following the instructions basically and what I was told. It's after I've cleaned them out and this helps to kind of soothe them. It's not an all the time thing, uh, just every now and again. Okay. All right, back to Voice Over Destiny because ain't no live talking going on. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into my oral hygiene routine. So these are the products that I'm currently using. I'm bouncing all over the place, y'all. Do your oral hygiene at whatever step you want to. I did need a new uh, tongue scraper, so I grabbed this little pack from Dollar Tree. We're going to test it out and see how I like it. So I like to brush for two minutes. I wanted to try that Tums toothpaste the last time I ran out of toothpaste. And after I'm done brushing my teeth, once my toothbrush dries, I put it back inside of my Brill toothbrush sanitizer. And that just basically gets the germs off. I'm gonna like sanitize it for about three minutes. The current mouthwash that I'm using is by Therabreath. I've only been using it for a few weeks now. I'm naturally just a co-ed girl at heart, so I try to branch out of my comfort zone. Once I like run out of a product, that's the perfect time for me to try something new. So far, so good. I like it. Okay, so I got this new little toothbrush kit. I'm trying not to be that person. I was gonna go on, on Amazon and order another one, but then I was like, if you get on Amazon, you're gonna be stuck on Amazon, and you're gonna be trying to order way more than just your little two brush cleaner so i just ran in dollar tree after i left the gym and i got this one i have to decide i'm gonna try it out and see like do i want to use it before my mouthwash or after my mouthwash or... uh -huh. <laughs> oh god okay 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 dollar tree i like that oh now i need another one to that's probably not gonna fit inside I like that. First impression, I like it. Also in here is a toothbrush, the dental pick and scaler, the dental mirror, and then the tongue scraper. So I just needed the tongue scraper. Uh, what else? Chapstick. Chapstick. I've either been using my Vaseline. This one is... So to finish up, I love to go ahead and apply a chapstick. I like this Vaseline one from Dollar Tree. And then Clarence recently sent me this one, y'all. It's really nice. When you open it, you think that it's going to be like super red, but it's just a nice little soft hint. Love that on the lips to make sure that they're nice and moisturized as well. Use a lip scrub in between if you would like. I forgot to show you all, but just like a sugar scrub, just kind of massage that over the lips and then apply your chapstick or lip gloss of choice. I try not to be like a lip gloss all the time kind of person. Chapsticks do a more job at like moisturizing and nourishing the lips. And then of course, finishing up with some more cuticle lotion since I'm all over the place with my routine. And then we gotta make sure we spray the shower down <laughs> so that we can wash that out. Go ahead and spray it out and let it sit like while you're doing all of the rest of everything. That's pretty much it for my current fall shower and body care routine with a few little corrective um, techniques in there as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. All of the products that I use will be linked down below as well if you all are interested and want to check them out. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching.